Is it working this time? I think it's working. Hello. Gosh, I don't know if you guys got a bunch of notifications or not, but I just tried to start this like five times in a row. And I kept saying that there were errors. So hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to the Kelly Motivational Monday. Um, I'm going to in uh, invite our Facebook friends to join here. Today we're going to talk about getting exercise when you have zero time to exercise. There are lots of little things you can do. So, hey everyone, hello, my money, something. <laughs> Hi, Selena. Hey, Keenan. Thank you, Lewis. Appreciate that. My mom is great. She is with my sister and their and uh, my sister's baby right now. Hey, everyone. All right, so let's invite. And by the way, thank you in advance for all your shares and your follows. Sharing is the best thing you can do um, to show your support. And if you enjoy it, that's um, a wonderful thing to do. Hey, so let us do. Facebook at the same time. Oh yeah? Oh cool. Thank you. Oh, now I'm having technical difficulties over here. Goodness me. Um, uh, legend has it she used to be called 100 push-ups Danica. That's a legend. That is not true actually. <laughs> oh is it Thanksgiving? A Canadian Thanksgiving? Welcome SF text fan to your first day in Periscope. All right we're going to try Facebook again. Speaking of multitasking, so really what today is about is about multitasking and doing stuff so that you can get, so you can get exercise. Oh, I'm on, I'm on Facebook now too. Fantastic. Um, yeah, so today is about talking about how ways to get exercise when you have zero time to exercise. What does that mean? It means multitasking. It means doing exercises that you can do while you're doing other things that you're already doing. So how many of you, yes, men can do it too. Most of the things I'm going to talk about men can do. Um, how many of you guys have this problem where you want to exercise? It's not that you're lazy. You want to exercise. You just have other stuff going on. And by the way, just because you don't have a lot of stuff going on doesn't mean that you're lazy if you're not exercising. There are tons of reasons to not exercise. But how, how many of you guys have this issue where you want to exercise more? You're physically capable of it. You just don't have time. And suddenly the day goes by and you're like, oh, man, I didn't exercise. I didn't move my body. Right? A lot of stuff. You don't have a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> well, yes, or the energy. Most people have this problem. I don't know. It's hard to know. You travel three weeks per month. Yeah, and sometimes there just isn't a lot of space or time to do it. You're at your desk all day or you're running your kids around. Um, if you're a soccer mom like I'm becoming myself. Yes, that's, a, that's an issue, right, Steve? Thank you, Lois. It's good to have you back. How about you guys? Yes, you, Gary, Michael, Carla, absolutely. Well, and that's a very different situation. There's very limited things you can do, but there are things you can do, but please check with your doctor. Don't necessarily try the things that I'm doing if you've got um, serious back issues. Time and energy. Yes, it is hard, Brianna. So, yes, we're going to talk about things to do. Um, should I be watching Dancing with the Stars? It doesn't start here until 8 o'clock, actually. You have three boys and it's hard, yes, hard to find time to exercise. Work two jobs, yes. Okay, so here are some ideas. And by the way, in order for you guys to do these ideas, let me tell you, you're going to have to write yourself notes. You're going to have to write little sticky notes or just a, a note with tape. It doesn't require sticky notes per se, but it requires some sort of note that you can put at your desk or in your car or wherever it is that you're going to see it. Uh, Post-it notes, yes. Yes, Naomi, I love post-it notes. <laughs> I do. You have a stationary bike, Gary? Well, that doesn't mean that it's you're able to find time to do it, though, right? So what, you know, I love these. If you watch, like, late-night TV and it would be like, one exercise, no space, here. And it shows you this little contraption that's, you know, $1,000 or maybe it's $200, whatever it is. It costs money. And, like, you can do sit-ups on it, push-ups. You can do squats. You can do all these things. And, really, all you need is the floor or just the ground to stand on. There's so much you can do and you don't need a contraption. So buying one of those things is not going to make you exercise. It's just not. If you don't have the time, you don't have the time. So here's, here's some ideas. And by the way, take a moment. If any of these sound good to you, give them a try. Even put your phone down while you're watching this or wherever and give them a try. If you like them, write it down so you can make a list of things that you like that seem like they're going to work for you. And by the way, I'm not a doctor, I'm not giving medical advice, and if you have any injuries whatsoever, even if you don't, I have to say check with your physician to make sure it's okay. All right, that's the liability thing. Here we go. 
How many of you are sitting in a desk job most of the day and that's the problem? How many of you are sitting or you're sitting at your desk at home and you're answering emails, you're just sitting, right? How many of you guys have that issue? You sit a lot, Ojilia. You too, Devin? James, you're sitting. Yes, eating healthy is absolutely even more important than exercise, but today's topic is about exercise, about moving your body. Desk job, Lauren? Okay, so here's some things. And by the way, you can go online to find these ideas as well, but we're talking about it together, and this might be extra motivating because today is McKellar Motivational Monday, and every Monday we get together and talk about stuff that motivates us. You have the same earrings? <laughs> um, all right, so one of the things you can do, because you might be saying, okay, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, so you're sitting at your desk. You're sitting at your desk. Um, there's stuff you can do for your legs, for your butt, and for your arms. Um, one of the things that I like to do are squats. So literally standing up and sitting down, standing up and sitting down. And you can do that. And I'll do that when I'm sitting at my desk answering emails. Because you know when you're answering emails, you're not typing the whole time. You're thinking for a minute about what you want to type. And then you stand up and you sit down. Yes, yeah, you want to shape your, your, your booty? Okay, James. <laughs> So that's, that's a great one. Squats are a great one. Of course, if you're not sitting at a desk, you can also just do them standing anywhere. Just put your, put your arms in front of you so you sort of counterbalance and you squat. Just stick your butt all the way out in the back and just squat a bunch of times. You will feel it. If you can do 50 of those, fantastic. If you're stuck behind your desk, you can still do a version of them uh, sitting there. If you sit down for 20 minutes, otherwise you're on your feet, then you might not have this problem, Jim. Butt squats can be difficult to do, but everybody... Probably most people can sit down and then stand up again. Yes, Lauren, diet is more important in my opinion. Um, sitting down and standing up, so just do that a bunch of times. Literally sit in your chair and then stand up again. So that's one thing you can do. Write it down if you like the idea. Um, raising your legs. So you're just literally sitting in your chair and you lift up the, like lift your foot up so your leg is straight in front of you and then and take turns doing it. One leg and then the other leg. Uh, especially if you're not, if you're a little you know, less in shape and you need something simple like that, that's a great thing to do. It gets your blood flowing because you know what? It's not just about exercising your body and toning your muscles. It's about making your body healthy and circulation is super important for that. Leg lifts are great. You have a treadmill and you've never been on it, right? Because where are you, Bill? You're sitting at your desk, right? You're sitting somewhere doing stuff. Or we're sitting on our couch answering emails. Even there, you can, you can get exercise because so many of us are tied to our phones for so many reasons. Um, so we talked about um, uh, squats and we talked about raising your legs. Um, let's say if you don't want to draw any attention to yourself, but you still want to get some, you know, toning for your butt, just literally sit there and squeeze your butt. Nobody knows you're doing it. And ladies, for you, throw in some Kegels as well. Just like squeeze it. Just squeeze it. You've been doing planks. That's fantastic, Lois. Odelia, the, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Just start. You guys have... Yes, share crunches. That's another great one, Lauren. Just do something. Do anything. Do more than you're doing now. Um, leg crunches. That would be something like, yes, shoulder rolls, Selena. I love that. Um, just raise your knee up to as high as you can while you sort of crunch down. And if you do the opposite knee to this elbow and then the other way, you can just start and really engage your core as you do it. Amazing how much you can get out of that. Just do 20 of them while you're sitting there at your desk while you're thinking about the emails you're going to answer. Eye rolls probably don't count. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kegels are important for every woman, Amy, not just pregnant women. You ride your bike to work, that's great. All right, hip twist. Yes, uh, twisting your chair is also great. Just literally, just, just twist your body. You guys, just, just move. Move our bodies. We get so stuck on our technology that we're sitting there like this and we're just you know, becoming insular and, and not moving enough. At least I end up in that pro having that problem a lot. I'm writing these math books. There's, I love doing it. It's so much work and it's so much just isolated work on my computer. And then I'm with my son and we're doing stuff and then I get home and I'm working and then I'm out with him again and I'm like, wait, wait, where did my day go and why didn't I exercise? So, so anyway, so yes, yeah, so take, take notes, you guys. If there's something that you like, Take a note of it and put a sticky note on your computer. Um, also, uh, just squeezing your shoulder blades in the back. Just do it gently at first. Pretend like you're, you want to hold something between your two shoulder blades. And, um, and you just press back this way. It's so good for your, 
my shoulders and then just yeah just someone mentioned shoulder rolls that feels really good it's amazing how good just a little of that can make you feel when you're sitting there stagnant really amazing um random things sure if you if you're if there's nobody in your desk you can do arm circles like this right these are great fantastic um they're easy to do but they they draw a lot of attention so you don't want to do them if uh there were people around you're in a cubicle and you're looking over you're like hey what's up arm reaches again if you are not in a crowded place you can do arm reaches only if you wear deodorant perhaps why am I frozen on Facebook? Can you guys see me on Facebook or is it frozen? Maybe it's just me. Hopefully it's just me. Um, what else? Oh, neck, just moving your neck. Stretching your neck a little bit. There's so many little things you can do. You could just write a note that says, move your body. As long as you remember what those things are that, that work for you. What else? Oh, and then let's get away from the desk for a moment. Oh, I lost Facebook. Sorry, Facebook. Um, uh, when you're brushing your teeth, okay, I find that brushing my teeth is a great time to do leg lifts to the back. I don't know why that's what I do. Um, just stand there, brush your teeth, hold on to the counter so you don't lose your balance or choke yourself or stab yourself in the throat. But just, you know, lift your legs to the back. Um, sometimes I'll do little plies like ballet. You know, you, you sort of you bend your knees and you stretch the back of your calves and you raise up on your toes and go back, back and forth. That helps, again, ladies, kegels while you're brushing your teeth. I think that's my mom's thing. Uh, it's Yes, why not utilize every minute? Sure, why not? Tighten your stomach muscles? Yes. Even when you're just walking down the street, imagine you're tightening your stomach muscles as you go and kind of burpees. Um, I, I know what they are and I've done them before, but I don't do them a lot. Thank you, Jack. Kickboxing at work. Interesting. Depends on where you work, I would imagine. Sitting position up against a wall for five minutes. Yes. Yeah, just push your shoulders back to the back wall and stretch your legs out. If you could actually, it's a great stretch along the back of the legs. So these are all just ideas that can be helpful and useful. Um, I love them. I love squeezing stuff in wherever I can. Again, even if it's just squeezing your butt when you're sitting at, at, at your desk. But make a note of it. Exercise your body. Move your body more this week than you did last week or than you typically do. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys on Twitter if there are certain ones that you like more than others. If you think this might help um, your friends or followers, please take a moment to share on Twitter or Facebook or um, through Periscope. You guys are the D Squad and I appreciate you all so much. Um, you know, before I. Hi, Cyrus. Before I. Um, uh, sign off here if there are any ideas you want to share i want to yes walking up and down the staircase uh thanks everyone because i'll tell you something i've been really the last few weeks i've really struggled with being able to take time for exercise so i thought you know what today i'm gonna do it walking around the neighborhood of course absolutely so thanks everyone have a wonderful wonderful night and a wonderful week and again yes please share with me which tips you've used and thank you so much for your follows and for your shares it means a lot and um thanks for watching the dana cam see you soon bye